Oh, hey, Ben. Oh, hey, Gary. Fancy seeing you here. So, Gary, since we're here, we uh, might as well do something productive, like maybe talk about some rollers, you know, these double flange ones and top rollers and yeah, single. Yeah, you, you do know there's a difference the between these the rollers flanges. here, right? They're, I mean, they have flanges, no flanges. You have flanges, though. I do. Hey, uh, while we're here, mm -hmm. and I'll take over because apparently Ben doesn't really you do that, Gary? get the uh, gist of this. We're gonna talk about rollers today. So in heavy equipment, we have basically three different types of rollers. You've got a single flange roller, you've got a double flange roller, and you've got a top carrier roller. Single flange rollers traditionally will have the flanges on the outside of the rollers. Every once in a while, you will find a single flange roller that has inner flanges only, similar to a top carrier roller. Mm, interesting. Double flange rollers has got flanges on the outside edges of the roller as well as on the inside edges of the roller. Thanks for the, the visual there. Perfect. And then your top carrier rollers have different mounting points. Sometimes they have a press-in style shaft like this. Sometimes they are a bolt-in style. And most of the time they do have a flange down the center of it to help support the track. You said that's a top? Top carrier roller. So it'd sit like, oh crap, these are heavy. And I thought. You could use them for that too. So it'd probably sit like this. You said yeah, it carries like the that. top top part of the roller. Yes. So the track would actually ride on the top oh. of this roller. You don't say. Okay. And then they pulled up. Okay. Yep. And bottom Ooh. rollers, such as these. Yeah. The track actually rides on the bottom of the roller. Okay. Right. It actually supports the weight of the machine. Yeah, this this construction supports... industry has got to keep it simple for simple people like me. Nice. That's accurate. And would you say it's also accurate that if somebody is changing out the, the chains or the rails, um, that they should replace the rollers as well? Or if the rollers are bad, is that going to hurt the track that they're brand new track that they just spent a couple thousand on? It is recommended to change the rollers when you change your track chains, just because the rollers have worn. And if you're putting a new track chain oh, on, okay. spending all that money, it, these aren't that expensive comparatively to the yeah. track chains. Yeah. So I would absolutely replace your track rollers when you replace your chains. That makes sense. And the sprocket too, because if well, it's yes. bad, that's yeah, good. It, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. That's excellent. But Gary, if you said, some people got single flange and some people got double flange. Do some people have single flange rollies and single flanges of ro or doubles on the same machine? Single flange Single roller, flange. Double flange Double roller. flange rollers and on the same machine? Yes. Or are they just... That's actually commonly found on dozers. Ah, dozers will have yes. one or the other or both. They'll, they'll sometimes they'll combine them huh. because they'll have Excellent. towards the ends of the track, they'll actually have double flange rollers because that's the point of the machine that actually has mm -hmm. the most amount of force during turning. Gotcha. And then the single flanges are in the middle. Gotcha. Okay. I do know this though, that bottom rollers also help with the pounds per square inch going across the ground. It helps disperse that too. When you got a big excavator or dozer. That's correct. Just throwing that out there. It's yep. good to have good rollers. Good rollers. I have heard too that uh, there's actually tools out there that'll measure the, um, I guess the rating of, the, the lifelong rating of the roller at the point it's at, uh, which I don't have. Uh, and yeah. I do know that there's bearings and, and shafts and seals inside there. So if you start hearing a clinkity clink, 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 clink going along and it's not near Christmas time, it's probably your rollers making a noise. Make sure to check you your call. operator's manuals or service manuals for the wear specs on your rollers. Yes. If you hear the clink, your rollers, rollers probably stink. stink. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Was, that was that terrible. Was, was okay. <laughs> I do know this too. If you need some bottom rollers or a top carrier roller, you can call Con Equip Parts. Or any other undercarriage for that matter. True that. True. Well, this is Ben and Gary with ConEquip 101. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, send us a tweet on Twitter, and we there's less Twitter? people on it now, so you'll probably get through. 
somebody got kicked off that tweeted a lot. 